I don't think you know how worthy you are. I really don't think you realize just how worthy you are of every single desire, dream, vision you have in your heart. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nolly Knight. I am the Money Minister. I work with action-oriented spiritual people, supporting them to create six-figure incomes, doing what they're called, born, meant to do, living in their true design. Just back from the gym, and I got to thinking about this, because I have in my mind a course that I would like to put out there, all about people, all four people who give too much. One of the reasons you get caught up in giving so much, and the reason why this is so critical that you, you stop doing, it's because all of your energy is going towards giving and giving and giving and giving to everybody else in your life except yourself, okay? And you do this because you don't realize how worthy you are of what you desire. And so it's, it's like you're still trying to prove to yourself and to everybody else in your world that you are worthy of the good things that you desire for your life. But because you don't think you're worthy of the good things you, in your life, you don't go directly to the end. When I say, what do I mean? I mean, you are doing these giving, giving, giving things, hoping to jump through enough hoops, climb up enough steps up the, the ladder to finally be able to get onto your platform, get the things that you desire, create the business that you want, have people paying you the money that you want to be paid, you know, be making the difference that you want to be making, but you don't think you're ready now to start already. So you are doing all of these things, except doing the things that will actually create the success, the money that you desire. But you'll never get to the success and the money and the difference you want to make and all of that stuff whilst you continue to take these stepping stones that get you nowhere. You're just going round and round in circles, appeasing this person, appeasing that person. And, you know, it makes you feel good kind of good and yet at the same time not because you feel quite resentful and you're wondering when you're I mean for some people I know I, I came out of a church environment where people would be you know fulfilling the the vision of the pastor or their spiritual teacher or whatever you want to call it hoping the one day that they will be noticed and I played this game okay and this is just one area of life where people do it um you I played this game as well where you're waiting hoping that some at some point this person will give you a platform to, um, finally tell you that you are worthy of the dreams, the desires that you've always had inside of your heart to do. But then this also plays out, and even outside of religious circles, in your family life, you're forever giving at work, forever giving and giving and giving all of your energy going towards everybody else's agenda. And you, you tell yourself it's because you have to, it's because this is the way things are. And, you know, you, and there's a part of you that feels as if you have to pay your dues, but you never ever get to the point where you're done. And so you're never, ever going to, from this place, get where you want to go because you're not doing the things that will get you there. You're doing the things that you think will get you there, but they will never get you there because your focus is on the wrong thing because deep down, you don't feel worthy. Ooh, my hand hurts. <laughs> you don't feel worthy of what you want. And so you keep playing this game with everyone and getting frustrated and resentful that they're not giving you what you want. But it's not for them to give you. It's for you to claim. It's for you to choose finally I'm enough. I've done enough. In fact, I never had to do anything in order to, to be worthy of the life that I'm supposed to live. Today, right now, you are worthy. You've always been worthy. There was never anything to prove. The divine didn't need you to jump through any hoops. You just needed to finally believe that you were worthy, that you've always been enough. And that you will always be enough. I say this quite regularly. I'm, I am enough. I've always been enough. I will always be enough. You need to actually believe that. Because you're jumping through hoops that don't exist except in your own mind. You're doing all this stuff for people. It's frustrating you, but you think you have no choice. 
you're the only one with all of the choices. You are enough. You are worthy of every single desire in your heart. But, you know, I can say that forever. In the end, you are the one that has to finally realize I am going to start going to the actual vision. I'm actually going to start doing things that will get me the vision. I am going to start making the difference to the ones I feel actually called to, not the ones that just happen to be around me that I now feel as if I have to give and give and give and, and give up myself in order to appease them. And you might feel resentful that they're not noticing just how good and wonderful you are, but it's not their place to. They don't know why you're doing all of this. They're just taking advantage of it because you're doing all of it. What do you want? You are worthy of it now. Choose to go claim it. Okay? This is your life. I urge you to get a copy of the, the Six Figure Income Book Collection. It is put together for people like you who give way too much who have visions, who, in fact, you know what? It's not just about the, the fact that you have visions. Yes, we all have visions, but you know that you're here to impact a lot of people. And yes, you would love to make a heck of a lot of money whilst doing it. You're just not sure you have, you have the permission to. Read through those book, that book collection. Get on the path, the deliberate millionaire path to peace, to purpose, to a six-figure income. You need peace. Because you've been jumping through hoops for so long, you don't even know how to live without all of the drama and the noise and the nonsense anymore. You've, your confidence has taken a beating. You feel as if you don't know what you're here to do anymore, except there's a part of you that does know. You just didn't think you could yet. And I'm here to remind you that you are worthy. Go and get the book collection, okay? Read the books. Come deeper into the Deliberate Millionaire Pathway. I like to work with people to support them in getting their six-figure incomes in their own spiritual business within 12 months. But we have to go through this process of dumping the noise, the nonsense, the drama, leaving behind the pain, the limits and beliefs of the past so that you can rise victorious in your true design life. There's more to creating a six-figure income than just physical strategy, but you need physical strategy as well. But all of this, all this Stuff, all this overgiving, this under earning, this underachieving has to be addressed. Because if not, you'll keep jumping through hoops that you don't need to jump through. First, get the book collection, okay? The link will be around this video. You are worthy, okay? So go and get the book collection, read it, come deeper into the world of the deliberate millionaire. <laughs> And then we'll go from there, okay? Let's get you what you want, what you deserve, what is yours, okay? Give yourself permission to thrive. Much amazing love. Share this video with somebody else, okay? Until the next time, bye. I need to go and have a shower. <laughs> bye.